The 10th annual Gaithersburg Book Festival was the place to be for bookworms. I was like scared out of my mind the whole time. The festival featured author talks, book signings, live music, activities for children, creative writing workshops, and more. This year is the one that I think matches the city of Gaithersburg the most in terms of its diversity. More than 140 authors showed up for the big day. I love coming to this festival. It really is one of the best in the nation. And I have gone to almost all the book festivals in the nation. Being at the Gaithersburg Book Festival was amazing. You know, it was my first time being here. And um, the, the people that came out were so receptive. And they, the book seemed to really resonate with the people that read it and my story even more. So Notes from a Young Black Chef is a memoir on my life. It includes some recipes that really represent um, each chapter in my life. And it's just a tale of, of a, a coming to age story. Susan Page, the Washington bureau chief of USA Today, was one of the featured authors. You know, one thing that has struck me is how interested people are in Barbara Bush. And I think it's because she harkens back to a day when our politics were more civil. The matriarch is informed by more than a hundred interviews with members of the Bush family, including the former first lady herself. And it was in Texas that she became fully who she was. And if you ask her, was she, is she a New Englander or a Texan? She would have said she was a Texan. Ben Bradley Jr., a former editor of the Boston Globe, explored a traditionally blue Pennsylvania county that went red for Donald Trump in the 2016 election. He built up such a margin in this one county that it was 60 percent of his victory margin for the state of Pennsylvania. So without this one county, he wouldn't have won the state or perhaps the presidency. It was the best political story in generations. Here was a crude real estate magnate and reality TV star who never held elected office and who dared to say and do such outrageous things that had any other or more conventional candidate said or done them, they would have been instantly written off. Overall, it was a successful day with perfect weather. Reporting in Gaithersburg, I'm Deirdre Byrne for My MC Media.